we will be talking about measures of central tendency. Now when we talk about data and summarizing data, two terms all, always people are worried about are measures of central tendency and measures of dispersion. Now we are going to look today at what are measures of central tendency. Uh, it's a way of summarizing a data set wherein you give a single value which will best characterize the whole data set. It is very commonly used for continuous variables and we have discussed earlier what are continuous variables, examples being height, weight, blood pressure and so on. So if we need to summarize a data set and we need a single value which will give you a lot of information about the whole data set, we use what is known as measures of central tendency and these measures are nothing but three M's mean, mode and median. Now we all have heard about these terms earlier. Let's look at what is the meaning of each of these terms. Mean, also known as average, is a value which gives you a definition of the central value of the data set. How do we calculate mean? For calculation of the mean, what we do is we take a sum total of all the values in the given data set and we divide it by the total number of observations in the data set. For example, if we want to find the mean blood pressure of 100 students on whom the blood pressure measurements have been made. So what we do is we take the individual values of each student and we add them up together. This forms the numerator and the denominator is formed by the total number of students. So in this case, it would be 100. So the total of the individual values of blood pressure divided by the total number of students will give us the average blood pressure for those 100 students. Now, average is something which needs to be carefully interpreted. For data which has got very low or very high values, the average is average tends to be pulled towards that side. What I mean is, if in the group of that, those 100 students in whom the blood pressure was measured, if a particular student has got a very high value of blood pressure, the average value would also be higher as compared to a data set wherein there would have been a spread where, is no, where there is no extreme value. What I mean by this is mean is affected by extreme values. So when we look at a data set, we need to be extremely cautious about looking at extreme values, trying to recheck whether the value is actually the one recorded or there is any error in the data and then compute the average. So that's about mean. The next M for the measures of central tendency is the mode. Mode is the most commonly occurring or the most frequently occurring measurement in a given data set. How do we find out that? Now to find out that what we need to do is we arrange the data either in an ascending that is an increasing order or a descending or a decreasing order and we try, try to look at which is the most common value in the given data set and that most common value is the mode. Now you may a look at mode in different research articles and you may see find that it is not there. How do we express mode? Mode is expressed generally in the form of sentences like most commonly occurring incident or most commonly occurring value. If you see these words most commonly occurring it indicates nothing but the mode. We move on next to the median. Now what is the median? The median is nothing but the central value in the given data set. Now to get the central value, we again need to arrange the data either in an ascending or a descending format and we try to look at the central value. The central value is the median of that data set. Now when it comes to odd numbers or when we have a data set in which the number of observations is odd, we can take the central value as it is, right? So for example, if we have 20, 21 observations, what's going to happen is the 11th observation is the median. But when we have 
even number of observations like 20 for that matter we will have to take an average of the central two values wherein we add the central two values and divide by the number two so that's about median now median is a very important measure of central tendency especially when we have a data set which has got extreme values or what we call as a skewed data set skewed means if you try to draw a curve for the given data set the curve would have a direction either towards the right or the left and that me that is skewed data for a skewed data median is a better indicator as a measure of central tendency as compared to the mean so we need to remember that mean mode median are the three measures of central tendency which help us summarize a data set which give a single values which characterize the data set so that's all from me today keep watching have a good day and do subscribe to my channel bye bye